Hello, I'm Ginger Pale. I went outside the other day to touch some grass, but uh, I missed. And I ended up playing some indoor soccer. The one where you kick the ball. I never really played it much. But then I got pushed and I hit my head on a bench. And that got me thinking. Well, actually, it gave me a concussion. But, but like the brain. Funny, squishy worms in my head that pilot my little meat suit. And thankfully, my little oopsie did not cause too much damage, and I'm just as smart as I was before. Hello? Guys? But you know what's cool about the brain? It holds all of our knowledge, all of our thoughts and ideas, and yet it doesn't even know itself. There's so many misconceptions about how our brains work, and that's why today, we'll be looking at some common breath myths. Brain myths. So put on your thinking caps. Or maybe in your case, a helmet. There you go, buddy. This is my outside skull. Keeping your brain good is important. So today's sponsor is BetterHelp. Back in 2019, I got diagnosed with anxiety and panic disorder. A two-for-one deal. My body just decides to have these funny little attacks where I feel like I'm having a heart attack. My throat is closing up and... Oh, are you here for me? It was making life pretty tricky. I've tried medication and it helped a bit, but it wasn't until last year that I gave therapy a chance, and it helped. A lot. Talking it out with an expert who is objective, neutral, and non-judgmental can help you dig into your own brain and get to the root of the problem. Now look at me. I feel alright. This is where BetterHelp comes in. They make starting therapy easier and less intimidating for a lot of people. You can have therapy sessions as a phone call, video chat, or even messaging. And with over 30,000 therapists in their network, they give you a much wider range of expertise and time availability than you may have available. So after a short questionnaire that helps identify your personal goals, you'll be matched with a therapist, in most cases, in 48 hours. And if you ever feel like your therapist isn't the best fit, you can switch with a click of a button at no additional cost and no hearts broken. While I've never personally used BetterHelp, I strongly believe in therapy. So if you have any personal goals for this year and you're ready to start living a healthier, happier life, go ahead and click the link in the description or head on over to betterhelp.com slash gingerpale to give it a try. That link helps support the channel and also gets you 10% off your first month. So thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. We like to define people as left or right brained. The left brain being objective, logical, and efficient, excelling in math, patterns, and saying, um, actually. While the right brain people are subjective, creative, and emotional. They're good with people, feelings, and, and pretty pictures. Wow, that one's going right up on the fridge, bud. Oh. Let's see how these two tackle a common problem, the classic trolley situation. There's a train on a track going towards five people. They're gonna die. Do you switch the train to the track with only one person? And no silly business like derailing the train or pretending you didn't see it. You're involved. There's blood on your hands. A logical left brain person might say, Okay, well obviously we need to perform the necessary evil of switching the track to only kill one person instead of five a net positive from our current situation. But a right brain person might tackle this situation a little differently. I put flames on it, I made it pretty. Now it'll go much faster. You'll suffer less pain because fast. Boy, it's a bad day to be an empath. Basically, left brain likes to think inside the box and right brain doesn't know where the box is. You know, logical, creative. Makes sense, right? No, they've played us for absolute fools. Actual scientific research using brain imaging technology has found no evidence of right or left brain dominance. We use all our brain. So why do people believe in this left brain versus right brain propaganda? Well, maybe it's just intuitive. I mean, after all, people do have a dominant hand, dominant foot, and even a dominant eye. So a dominant brain side just makes sense. And speaking of senses, everyone knows that we have five senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell but everyone is dumb. This misconception dates all the way back to Aristotle, but the truth is, he's dead. And we have way more than five senses. And I'm not talking about my impeccable sense of humor. Cue the funny joke I prepared. Incredible. This is a homunculus. You may have seen it in science class or your nightmares. I see him every time I close my eyes. It's a representation of what a human would look like if our body parts were proportional to their level of motor or sensory stimulation. It's not necessarily inaccurate, but it does amplify how we could think we only have five senses based on its big things. But it's not correct. So how many senses do we have? Well, neurologists agree that there's at least nine, but could be considered more depending on how you classify them. The additional generally agreed upon senses include thermoception, which is the ability to gauge temperature. Equilibrioception, which is your internal gyroscope that keeps you balanced. Nociception, which is to feel pain. Ooh, owie. Proprioception, which is body awareness. It's what lets you close your eyes and touch your nose. Where is it? 
Amphibioception, the ability to tell if I'm lying to you. That was dry. Bigger brain means bigger thinking, right? No. Sperm whales have the biggest brain of any animal, averaging about 18 pounds. That's six times bigger than the average human, but they can't do math. But Albert Einstein can, and he had a smaller than average sized brain for an adult male, but he's considered a genius among other humans. This is because the most important contributor to intelligence is actually the structure of your brain. Your mind is a fortress. The folds we can see in our brain are called fissures. There's the small inward ones, sulci, and the outward ones, known as gyri. These folds make a better surface to volume ratio so that more neurons can be packed in a given area with shorter distance between them. Therefore, more and faster communication. Basically, Einstein had a super foldy brain, especially especially his parietal lobes, which are responsible for mathematical and spatial cognition. Wrinkly brain, huge thinking. Now here's a koala brain. It looks like a raw chicken breast. If you pick eucalyptus leaves and place them in front of a koala, they don't know what to do with them. Since they're not attached to the branches of a tree, they don't recognize them as the leaves they normally feed on. You are boldly stupid. You probably have chlamydia. Smooth brain is real. We only use 10% of our brain on a daily basis, saving the other 90% to learn new things. You know, it's like our brain is a hard drive because you don't want to drop either of them on the floor. This is a myth, and a stupid one at that. Like, you don't just have empty space in there waiting to be filled up. We learn by creating new neural connections between our existing structures. Structures which are all important parts that do important things for different tasks. The brainstem controls automatic things, like breathing or your heart beating. The temporal lobe, which causes your brain chewing. Or the occipital lobe, which affects sight and memory. Uh. This whole 10% shenanigan was just propagated by authors trying to sell their self-help books. But they're wrong and they lied to you, and they profited off it, and you're, you're just a stupid, dumb idiot. Still. So what exactly am I trying to say with this video? That you're an idiot if you believe any of this stuff? Yeah, pretty much. But thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something. And if you didn't, um, I learned that koalas have an extra set of thumbs while I was working on this. So there's that. Besides that, happy Leap Day, everybody. I'll see you guys later. Buh bye bye